And just as, uh, you know, before I finish this up, just one more thing, guys. I'm trying to set myself up on a schedule to do videos, release videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, this week, I kind of blew it. I got Monday. <laughs> Wednesday didn't go so well since today's Thursday. Um, and I'm probably going to miss Friday just for the simple fact that it's tomorrow or I may get one up. But that's my plan is to get on a schedule. So I'll be releasing videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'm going to try to stick to that schedule. And I'm going to try to mix it up so there's some prepping stuff in here, the vlog stuff, and, you know, the RC stuff. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Today, I'm going to do a six question prepper tag now i was tagged by 12 gauge tommy and you know in that there's six questions here i've got them written down because my memory's not as sharp as it used to be and i can't remember the questions so we're gonna just go from the paper and at the end of this tag i'm gonna tag three more people okay question number one what do you think of the term prepper survivalist and do you use them yourself? Well, I absolutely do use the term. After all, the name of my channel is Massachusetts Prepper. Uh, and I advertise Massachusetts Prepper. So absolutely, I do use the term um, prepper and survivalist. And as far as what I think of the term, uh, I think it's basically anybody who is being prepared for any situation. I mean, someone could be a prepper if they're prepping for their medical needs. Maybe they're not prepping for an apocalyptic type situation or uh, SHTF or, you know, a world without law type situation. Um, or maybe they're not even prepping for natural disasters or any kind of emergency, but maybe they're prepping for a medical emergency that would impact their lives and they're buying you know extra medications or whatever the term prepper or survivalist is a very broad term because someone can be being prepared for any kind of scenario or situation um, they may be just being prepared for a local power outage where they lose power one or two times a month and they're you know they bought a generator and whatever so they're being prepared for that question number two when did you realize you were a prepper well for me it was many years ago um living in florida i actually lived in an area where we lost power quite often and uh you know we had a lot of hurricanes and uh, tornadoes in the area that i lived in so we had to be prepared for, you know, basically whatever came our way. And, you know, I remember one time we had a squirrel jump on the transformer and shorted it out, killed the squirrel, also killed our power. And since we were out in a rural area, the power company didn't even know we had lost power. And, uh, you know, by the time I contacted them, told them we lost power, they got out there and fixed it we were you know a good day without power so absolutely uh you know i would say it was when i lived in florida that is when i realized you know i was a prepper three favorite movies books and tv series uh i'm not the reader in my family my youngest son is the reader he'll read for days um me, I don't have the, the patience to sit still that long to read for, you know, a couple of hours, let alone days. I would dare say probably one of the best series that I really enjoy is the Game of Thrones. Um, a very compelling storyline, uh, very well done, and I really enjoy that series. Now, I also have enjoyed the series of Marco Polo. Now, if you haven't seen that, um, you know, it's in season two right now. And fantastic show, um, and again, very well done. 
uh, of course, like all preppers uh, and non-preppers alike, I guess, The Walking Dead is another favorite series. So those are just a few. Number four, bug out or bug in. Well, I think you need to be prepared for both, but I'm more prepared to bug in. If there's any way possible, um, bugging in is the way to go because you have your shelter, you know, you have the majority of your food, your water, everything is right here where you're at. So definitely bugging in. Now, just over across the road from me, um, I could probably throw a rock and hit the train tracks. So we are definitely prepared to bug out in a situation where, let's say a train derailed with some nasty chemicals um, and it was hazardous for us to stay in the home. So we do have our bug out bags and we're ready to bug out in a moment's notice. But for the most part, um, you're better off bugging in if you can. If you could instantly learn a new skill matrix style, what would it be? That's kind of a hard one, a new skill matrix style. I really don't know guys uh, what skill I would want to learn and learn it instantly and be able to do it. For me, the actual learning process is what I enjoy. Actually taking the challenge and being able to, you know, meet that challenge and master whatever it is I'm trying to do. So learning something matrix style and being able to do it just instantly without having to go through the process of learning it. I don't think I would like to do that guys, to be honest with you. Number six, if you could only pick five items for SHTF, what would they be? Five items for SHTF. I would take a hundred foot of paracord. That's one. I would take my Mora Light My Fire because it's a knife and a ferro rod all in one. So that takes care of my knife and my ferro rod. So that's my number two item. I would take my 1022 for the simple fact that it breaks down and it's a 22, so it's not really that loud. The shells are fairly inexpensive. They're lightweight, so I could carry a lot of ammunition. The gun itself breaks down into a bag that's probably this tall. So that would be my third item. So I've got my paracord, I've got my knife with my ferro rod in it, built right into the handle, and I've got my 1022. Um, I would take my Stanley stainless steel water bottle because then I can get my water and purify it. A military type poncho. So I could use it in aiding me in my shelter. So that would be my five items. Military style poncho. 1022. Stanley. Stainless steel water bottle. 100 foot of paracord and my Mora Light My Fire knife. Then I have the essentials that I need to survive for a little while. And most of these items will fit in the bag with the 1022. So I'm able to carry all this stuff with one pouch. So there you go, brother. Um, 12 gauge Tommy. Uh, I hope that this suffices and meets the, the tag requirements. I'm not the greatest at building snares. So if we'll jump back to five, if I had to do it, it would be able to do snares and stuff very proficiently. Okay, so there I've answered all of them. So hopefully this does it for you, brother. And I met the requirements now for the three people I'm going to tag. Um, LCJ Farms. Um, happy Farming. I would like to, for y'all to answer this. Um, I'm going to throw one in here that's 
really not a prepper, but I'm sure he's a prepper at heart because he does prep in the silver and gold community, and that's salivate metal. Let's see, one more. Jesse's Mountain. So there you have it, LCJ Farm. Salivate Metal and Jesse's Mountain. You guys have been tagged for the six questions um, prepper tag. All the questions will be down there in the description below. So you can uh, have those. Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.